Hey beloved, my name is Krista Pettiford. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about the different seasons of life and how we can receive the beauty and the blessings, understand the purpose and the lessons in every season of life that we go through as we follow Christ. And so I want to share with you five clarifying questions that you can ask yourself in every season of life that will help you get grounded and know what God wants you to do in your season, no matter what season you're in. But before I begin, I want to ask you to like this video, to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed, and to share this video with someone else. So the verse I want to give you is Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1. To everything there is a season. And so there's a season for everything under the sun. And I won't read out that whole chapter through 1 through 11 to go through all the different seasons. But I want to just kind of give you my version of those seasons and um, kind of give you an explanation of those seasons, define those for, for you. First, I want to let you know that not every season is the same. There are seasons of fruitfulness and harvest, seasons of joy and happiness that make your heart so full and put a smile on your face. And But then there are those seasons of dryness and seasons of waiting and seasons of transition, which I'm currently just coming out of. When God calls you to leave something old, to do something new, and you have to trust him to direct you where in the thing that he wants you to do and where he wants you to go and how he wants you to do it and then there's seasons of warfare and testing that end in victory but can also end in making you feel defeated even though we know that we always get the victory through Christ Jesus you can feel you can come out of a season feeling like wow I've really felt defeated you know so these this is just the reality of life there are season of sorrow there are seasons of sorrow and seasons when God calls you to do hard things. He calls you to testing and trials when like um when it's something hard that you don't want to do. So it's even not just the test and the trial that you're passing, but it's something that's just hard for you, that's just sorrowful, that you have to keep on pressing through. But there's also seasons of rest and peace. But one thing I found, because I've been through so many seasons in my uh, almost 48 years, because I started so early, is that every season has a beginning and an ending. And sometimes it feels like the end is not in sight. And sometimes in a season of transition, you can feel like um, there's no new beginning in sight. Like you've been just waiting on God to show you what to do next, but even though you know a season is ending. But I promise you that every season as sure as it begins it will end it has its own beauty as i said at the beginning its own blessings its own purpose and its own lessons that god designs just for each one of us as we go through and so i want to talk about how to discover what God has purpose for you in the season that you're in the present season that you're in and these five questions will help you in any season of life. And so the first one is to lean in. I like doing things with the same letter that start with the same letter. So all of these start with an L and these are what the Holy Spirit gave me. And this is what I have had to learn to do. And it's a process that you can go through in your quiet time. And sometimes daily, you may have to cling to one of these or all of them. But the first thing is to lean in to see what God is trying to show you. Lean into his presence. But there's also things that you might want to lean into like a goal that he shows you that he puts his finger on serving or lean into a promise or whatever it is but the first thing that you do is you lean into his 
presence. You lean into God. You lean into his word. And to lean in means to focus on something, to give attention to it so that you can get everything, every benefit it has for you. And so lean in. And then the second thing you want to do is listen to what God is saying to you. When you listen to God, when you're leaned in and you're focusing your attention on him, he is going to give you correction. Yes, the Father will correct you when you're going in a wrong direction or when you're thinking something wrong. You can be completely off from what God is trying to do, missing the lesson, missing the point, and he will show you things from his perspective. So that's correction. Um, he will also chastise you, which is part of correction. He will instruct you and he will direct you in the thing that you are supposed to do. But also you want to listen for those voices that you shouldn't be listening to because not every voice is going to line up with God's will for you, with with what he's spoken to you. And so you want to make sure that you're listening to wise counsel, that you're not listening to your voice and the voice of complaint, your the voice of your flesh and the voice of complaining. You want to make sure that you're not listening to other people, that you're not taking worldly counsel or listening to those people that are telling you what you want to hear, but you're listening to what God would say to you. And then secondly, when you lean in and you listen to him, he's gonna tell you to lay some things down. He's gonna ask, you to let some things go there's some things that can't um that you can't sustain in this season there's some things that you have to cast upon him there's some things that you are no longer able to carry because they're weighing you down so he's going to give he's going to point those things out and so you need to know what you need to lay down in this cinder in this season and part of that laying down is surrender and so you have, there's some things that you're not going to want. There's going to be some things that you're like, yeah, I, I'm so excited to lay this down and give this up. But there's going to be some things that you want to hold on to in every season. These things, again, work in every season. These are questions that you can ask yourself, lay down. So, God, what do you want me to lean into? Lord, who am I listening to that is not lining up with your voice? And what am I listening to to hear from you. What do you want me to lay down? But then there comes the thing, what do you want me to lift up? And when I think of lifting things up, I think of lifting them up in prayer. I think of lifting something up to the Father in prayer and asking him what he has for me, what he wants for me to keep before him, that promise that few, that hope and that future that he has for you, that child, that husband, that mother, that friend, that ministry, that job, that that dream that you have before him, that he wants you to keep it lifted in prayer. And sometimes you're laying something down and you're lifting it up all at the same time. You're laying down the part of it that you can't control and you're lifting up the promise that God said he would make it to him bringing your faith in alignment with God's will, with heaven's will, regardless of what it looks like. And you're saying, God, I know that you are able. So I surrender my my will, my strength, and my might to you. And I surrender this to you. I can't control it. I can't change it in my own power and might. But as I lay down my efforts, as I lay down what I want to do and lift up to you this thing that you can bless it, just like Jesus blessed the loaves and the fishes and they were multiplied he lifted it up to the father that's what you're going to do just like moses lifted up the rod and mo and aaron um and i believe it was joshua held up his arms or was it her held up his arms and while he was in battle and as long as the rod was held up they were winning you're going to hold that thing up until you get the victory and then you want to seek the lessons and everything that you go through. What are the lessons? And so you're asking God, what do I, what am I, what do I need to learn? And what didn't I get last time? Or what did I get? What, what didn't I get in the last season that you may be bringing it back around in this season? But what are the lessons from the last season that I went through that I can apply in this season? So that I don't forget that I use the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding that you've already given to me. And then what is it that you want me to get in this season? And and a lesson from God does not mean that you are failed or that you are bad or, or anything like that. It doesn't mean that you lack faith. It means there's always something in each 
season that you can learn from the season that you're in. Even if it's a good, beautiful, fruitful season, what can you learn about that that you can then apply to your life and teach others? And so once you answer those questions, you will be able to understand the, you will be able to know and experience and understand the beauty in the season you're in, even if it's a hard season, the blessing, even if it's a hard season or it's a season of transition or it's a season of rest or just dryness, you'll you'll understand looking back or even going through it. If you lean into God, you'll understand why sometimes he dries you out so he can fill you up. He prunes the vine. And so you'll understand the beauty and the blessing. You'll understand the purpose of what you're going through, whether it is the best time of your life. You'll understand what God's purpose in and giving you that time of blessing and rest and peace and all those things where you're not warring, but you're you're enjoying the blessing. Um, or if you're in a hard place, you'll understand the purpose and you'll understand the lesson. And so that's what God wants us to get out of every season that we go through, the beauty and the blessings the purpose and the lessons. And so I just wanted to come by and share that with you. And um, I actually have a free downloadable guide that walks you through all of this and helps you go through these questions and really digs into this. I just kind of tapped the surface. It's not too much because it's just a 10 page guide, but it goes deep into the questions that I covered here and gives you a time to process and get into each one of these questions and these words surrounding the questions. And so I hope that this blesses you whatever season of life you're in. I'm kind of in midlife. You can be a season and age, right? So I'm in midlife. I'm an empty nester. I'm going, I just in, finished a season of transition. Some days I feel like I'm still in transition, but I'm definitely, um, I have ended a season and I am entered into a new beginning. But I have to lean into God to get his instruction get his correction when I need that and get his direction and then I also need his timing that means waiting on God but I also have some things that I'm laying down and lifting up at the same time and under trying to understand the lessons that he has for me in this season so I pray that this bless you God bless you until next time please don't forget to subscribe and to like and share and next time I'm going to get into um, each one of these. So I'm doing a series. This is just the introduction. So, but I want to really get into each of those questions deeper and, and give them each some time. So I hope that you enjoy this. Until next time, God bless.